Hello, my fan friends. There's the theme tune. Welcome to another episode. Oh, shit, nearly broke my shoe. Snooker stick then. Moving forwards. Um, what's up to my voice? Oh, God, it's all gone wrong. Uh, welcome to another episode of another frame. Look, my stick's in the way of me one. It's like I've never done this before. Me one versus me two snooker, a continuing um, championship in which I, Richard Herring, play myself, Richard Herring, at snooker to discover who is best at snooker, me or myself. Um, it's very exciting, and usually in the persona of me one or me two. During lockdown, we went a bit deeper in. Um, during the second lockdown, who knows how many me's we might need to get help us through. Uh, the second one, it may go back to more than one night a week, but it's nice at the moment just to be doing continuing the Me One versus Me Two snooker podcast and now Twitch stream and sometimes on the YouTube channel. Well, and it is on the YouTube channel, um, which began all this. It's been running since 2011, I think, 2012. This is frame 109. Uh, five frames weren't between Me One and Me Two, and uh, one frame was tied and one frame was void which is why we are currently at the point where me one has 50 frames and me two has 51 frames came very close last week to being 49 52 which would have possibly been an unassailable gap for me one to bridge but if me one can win today we're back even stevens in what is a very finely balanced um contest um again i haven't had much sleep again tonight i don't know if it's just sunday nights are bad for me um very, it's, I think we'd have to agree that since we've gone with the video on this, since about a frame 103, 102, 103, it's been extremely exciting. We've had some very close contests, a lot of black ball finishes. Um, it's brought a, a new frisson to the whole thing. Um, numbers have gone down in terms of viewers, but in terms of excitement, <laughs> it's shooting up like a, a star in the sky. Um, if you are enjoying the Twitch stream, we uh, do this on Mondays, Wednesdays. I haven't done it for a couple of weeks, but I am trying to do it this week, though I don't yet have a guest. I've got a guest for next week, which is Michael Ian Black, the fantastic American writer and comedian and actor um, who has written a book about masculinity letter to my son i think it's called but we'll find out more about that next week then following that we've got stevie little stevie martin not that one maybe one day we'll get that one but uh she is just as good as steve martin i mean she's very good so you'll enjoy that and uh, ed gamble is coming up l later uh, in october as well and there's a very special 300th episode of Rahula Stubber coming up, which may not go out live, um, which I, the table's going to be turned and I'm going to be interviewed by somebody else. I'll let you know who that is. Uh, if you're interested in my book, The Problem With Men, uh, that is coming out on November the 5th. You can pre-order it now from all your bookshops. Uh, I'm also recording the audiobook very soon and uh, going up on Twitter, a few little clips of me reading from the book. It's not the actual audio book because we haven't done it yet uh, this week as it's audio, I love audio week, which I know a lot of you will be into. Perverts. Um, so do, I think the all we got, we got Deborah Francis White doing an exclusive extra podcast with me for that. We're going to pack it full of extras as well. So uh, that might be, if you, certainly if you're a podcast fan, that might be the way to enjoy the book. And it could be Ali Sloper interviewing me. You never know monkey shaver could be uh do remember if you're if you are enjoying the twitch streams too and thursday night is ali and harry's twitch fun hard needs to be said the whole country now tunes in when that comes on um and we'll be back on thursday with another sideways look at this is me looking sideways at the news that's how i look at the news um hopefully this week i'll get to do it on my own without any interruptions from crazy critters um so what else? Uh, yes, well, look, if you like the Twitch channel and you're with Amazon Prime especially, why not subscribe? Um, as John twenty eight, oh John L twenty eight has just done for his seventh month. We're on the seven month streaks now. <sighs> Thank God I haven't been stone clearing every day for all that time. It was that was the most mentally straining thing. Though I am going out once a week if I can to uh, do a video 
stone clear to do so do watch out for that um be lovely there's a if you go to my youtube channel you can see a very or just look at the front of this twitch channel there's a very simple way to link your amazon prime account to whatever the fuck this channel is called now amazon gaming i mean i'm not i mean we're gaming tonight uh but uh yeah so um that'd be lovely if you could give us your money that that doesn't cost you a penny it's part of your subscription to Amazon Prime. You can give us five pounds every single month if you want, and we get three pound fifty of it, and we'll plow it all back into making more fucking stupid content for you. Mainly paying people to do stupid cartoons and jingles for Ali and Herring's Twitch of fun at the moment. But you know what better way to spend your money than on that stuff? Um, I'm writing a, a song for me and Ali to sing this week. It's very exciting. And also, if you're into the snooker, which Look, the numbers tell me you are. There's 176 trombones or well, people on trombones watching us right now. And we have a snooker Kickstarter with only 168 backers. So at least eight of you haven't backed us yet of the 176 watching. Plus the thousands watching on YouTube and and several hundred who watch it on Twitch. And um, who knows how many people listen to the podcast these days. I thought we'd get rid of you all, but you've hung on for nine years. Nearly 10 years. I'm sure you can carry on for a bit longer. Um, maybe it's nearly nine years, actually, to be fair. Um, thank you to Chimpo Tot. Subscribe for seven months as well. That's what I like to see. Currently, 168 people have backed um, the Kickstarter. As as I looked at it, let's see if anyone else has gone. If you go to ruhelastaba.co.uk slash Kickstarter, you can have a look at the fantastic rewards. We need to hit £20,000 in the next 12 days or the Punani album does not exist. The stickers will not exist. The t-shirts will not exist. The uh, donkey t-shirt, is it for this one, will not exist. Um, and we're not even doing it for ourselves. We're doing it, all the money we're going to donate to live comedy. So we'll find a club or some clubs, depending on how much profit we make, and give that to clubs to help pay their staff and help keep their running costs going. In the hope there may be some live comedy when we return. So um, you can sponsor an episode. You can have a video message from any of the me's you fancy. I um, know there's going to be a lot of action on me 11. There's a glamour shot of me 11 to enjoy. There's a beautiful self-playing snooker federation uh, membership card. There's some good stuff there, my fine friends. So just have a look. Rohelisper.co.uk slash Kickstarter. Just have a look. If you can just chuck in a couple of quid, the money will go to help live comedy. It's not coming to us. But only if we hit that target. And my little pitch there has gotten... Literally nobody has gone in to do that. That is how well that's done. Um, and it's I've worked, I've written the... Because the, it looked like it was starting off like we are going to make about 50 grand. I thought, great, it's, it started off so well. It'll, it's always like this on Kickstarter, so I'm not too worried. People always leave it to the last minute. Um, but it'd be nice to exceed £20,000 because the money is going to a very good cause. Anyway, thank you to Dr. The Goat who did it last week. I'm not blaming all of you. Most of you, I'm sure, have done it. And the fact there's only 176 of you. How many are watching now? Let's see if it's gone up or down since I've started begging for money. 187 of you now. So, you know, there's... There's about 500 of you watch this live at some point. Jay Dermo subscribed with Prime. That's five months, and that's with their own money, Jay Dermo. So thank you for that. That's very kind of you. Um, the latest you can do it is... Um, uh, I'm answering a question on for, to Mutation555. Uh, Sunday, October the 4th at 6.26pm will be your last chance because it finishes at 6.27pm so you've, there's still a little bit of time it's a couple of weeks, don't worry I think it's going to happen my fan friends I'm confident that sticker album has to has to exist it's a thing of beauty, I've written all the biogs um, I've written an introduction I've got someone working on it it's got to happen got to happen Uh, Professor Plum's Fuzzy Kiwis has just got his badges in the mail. Thanks, Rich. No problem. I hope they were from me. Um, come on, guys, do it. I want my sticker album, says Monkey Shaver. Well, you know, we're nearly halfway. It's an incredible achievement to have got to £9,447, but a meaningless one. Unless we... Just, you know, every, if everyone who... 
uh, lived. If everyone who mm, can't be bothered, do it if you want. Right. Anyway, here we are. Will you join us? I'm sorry for all that uh, plugging. I don't do this for the publicity. Thank goodness, I do it for the love of self-playing snooker and the hope we can make this the biggest sport. We're nearly at 200 viewers now, and that's that means I can nearly start. <laughs> My little game. Uh, we are. We were in the Sadek Bakchu arena. Unfortunately, Sadek's sad family. He died last week. Got in touch to say they did not want the arena named after Sadek Bakchu uh, because they Sadek Bakchu. Not sure if they identified as a male or female or non-binary. But uh, in any case, they don't want it named after it. It's now the Michael Lonsdale uh, arena. Which is good, because Lonsdale sounds like a proper sporting thing. Michael Lonsdale, of course, was the villain in Moonraker. He was also in Dare the Jackal. Fantastic actor. Um, sad, Very sadly died today in Paris. Anglo-French. He could speak uh, English and French. Appeared in films on both... In, you know, I mean, in a way, it's good he's died before the Brexit's fully happened, because uh, it would have made him sad, so... He loved England, he loved France, and he loved self-playing snooker. I happen to know that about Michael. There's obviously no way of checking that and asking him now. But um, I'm sure his parents will not be happy. Well, I doubt his parents will be in touch to say they don't want the arena named after him. If they are, <laughs> if his parents get in touch with me, I promise I will, wouldn't, I will not name this arena after anyone ever again. Um Let's talk to that. It was a very exciting frame last week with a lot of controversy, a bit about the green ball being where it should be respotted if all the the uh, holes, the spots are covered, which they were, which isn't going to happen very often in a game of snooker. Um, referee one. I've decided is the referee that's still here, whether it is or not. Um, uh, decided that it should be placed in the in the heart of the D, well, the, the the curve of the D. And a few people said, no, it should be placed up the table from the spot it's meant to be on. So uh, it should be a block. It should have been a fantastic sneaker because the green ball would have been blocking up the table. Well, you're thinking about two-player snooker rules, mate. If you think you can come and snooker splain self-playing snooker to referee one who knows more about the rules of self-playing snooker than anyone on this planet and obviously not referee two is not on this planet he may be um circling venus and farting that is th what scientists believe so we may have referee two back he was meant to be shot into the heart of the sun but uh, there are reports of life on venus and i can only imagine that's him and he did fart a lot i have to say so i think it could be him um it was a very exciting frame very low scoring frame broke a lot of records i don't believe there was a single foul that got picked up at least in the entire frame i think a couple of balls got touched uh, the wrong uh, inappropriate times. Um, it's not for the first time. If you watch uh, Ali and Herring's Twitch of Fun, um, but at this level of snooker, you have to sometimes let that go. And both players got equal uh, blind eye turning by the referee, so I think it's fine. Um, Me one was victorious by six points, twenty six twenty. Very low scoring frame, uh, but very exciting frame. And I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, Me two had a pretty easy black to win the frame and fucked it up so let's talk to him about that i think yeah he's just coming into the room he's just sitting down right now uh, that's weird he looked like he was uh standing up no i just i just sat down and then i was readjusting um the seat because it was a bit uncomfortable thanks that's a good nice t-shirt you're wearing there me too thanks yeah it's uh boo nalance it's uh the, the fashion firm why do they? Why is everything written backwards? It's written in um, uh, Esperanto, Richard. That's uh, that says uh, Boon Allants, uh, Kenlentig, Kitten Heto, Sias means um, self playing snooker in uh, in Esperanto. I thought Esperanto used uh, the same alphabet as us. You're very wrong, Richard. And um, I'm a big supporter of Esperanto, so uh, long may that keep up. I hope me one hasn't worn the same stuff as me, because I hate him, obviously. Yeah, well, there's been some maturity from you guys. There's been some immaturity from you guys. I think we're back to the immature pairing, aren't we? Um, how are you feeling about... Uh, it makes it easy for me to know if I'm on the right camera anyway. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Um, 
How do you feel? How are you feeling a week on from last week's frame, Richard? I've been having sleepless nights. I know you've been having sleepless nights as well, worrying about the state of the world. I was worrying about how could I miss that black. I was just replaying that black over and over in my mind. I unfortunately I have a thing called a fantasia. I don't know if you've got that. I do have that as well. Yeah. So I couldn't actually picture the black ball, but I could think about it and uh, and sort of. I, I, in my mind, I could think about it going into the pocket rather than missing and, and me winning and being three frames ahead rather than one frame ahead. And that it can be very psychologically damaging for a player. But I'm not going to let it psychologically damage me. My plan to win all the remaining frames has taken a little dent, but I could win all the remaining frames now. Last week is the past. There's no point, Richard, in dwelling on the past. You can't change what has happened unless you um, are Gary Sparrow. I just poked myself with a snooker stick then. Um, or uh, at the time traveller in HG Wells or and any number of time travellers. But presuming you can't travel through time, you can't change the past. You may have made mistakes. They may weigh heavily on your mind. You may worry about those mistakes coming back to haunt you. But you have to forget. You have to live your best life now. And I forget the losses. I forget the wins. I forget everything. I just move on. All I'm focused on is today... Winning this frame of snooker on that green board back there, my friend. You can see it right behind me. And kids in hospital, don't you worry. You're going to have another week of life thanks to old, the very, very strong Breeze here. Well, thank you, the very, very strong Breeze, as he's known. Um, the lovely picture of you in the Punani sticker album. Well, if it if it ever gets made, Richard, you know, it's looking like the, the fans of Me 1 versus Me 2 snooker are not getting behind... Let's have. I'm just going to look at my computer to see if anyone's uh, donated while we've been on air. It's very exciting. Not a single fucker, Rich. Not a single fucker has bothered. Even just go and put a pound in there, just to make it go up to. We're nearly at nine thousand five hundred. That'd be nice to get to by the end of this frame, wouldn't it? It would at least give you some feeling, me too, that your life was not pointless and a waste of time. I mean, you have other things outside of this, Richard. I don't. Uh, this is it for me. This and having sex with me one's wife occasionally when he's not when he's asleep. She but she wants to, so it's fine. So it's her marriage. I'm not married. Okay. Well, let's uh, me too. There, unpleasant man. Um, I'm sorry. He's fifty percent of me, and I'm. So, I do apologise for that fifty percent of me. And I'm glad I've largely expunged him from my life. But, uh, yeah, over 200 viewers now, by the way. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you have been, uh, 203 people. I think I remember it going up to nearer 300 in the good old days of the tournaments. But, uh, you know, let's not dwell on the past. I think Me Too's right about that. I can just see Me One's about to sit down in his seat. So let's see how that's doing. Uh, hi, Rich. Thanks. Oh, I'm wearing the same T-shirt as me, too. How embarrassing. But, I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of Boo Nalants as well. So, um, good luck to them. That's what I say with their T-shirt um, empire. Good. How are you feeling after last week? The victory from last week. Rich, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling virile. I'm feeling alert. I'm feeling beautiful. feeling handsome. Let's have a look at the old baby blues. Um, they're a bit red today. But, um, you know, still not a bad looking guy. I've been out training. I've uh, done, done two runs this week. Um, one with my beautiful wife and one alone. Six kilometres. Um, I had a very strict no sugar regime. I've cracked a little. I had a few Soleros. I've had a daily Solero for the last six days. But uh, still on average, it's less than three um I think it's between three and four Soleros a, a, one every three or four days that's what I'm trying to say so it's not that bad um, made myself a lovely um, bramble and apple uh, crumble to this afternoon with my son um, I took him to nursery first time well I picked him up on the way to nursery with his mum every, per, every person he passed in the street he said hello I'm going to school he wasn't going to school, he was going to nursery. He's an idiot in many ways. Um, but that's why he's going to nursery, to try and get that out of him. But yeah, so I've had a lovely family day. Made a beautiful, uh, I think Raymond Blanc uh, was recipe. 
root of with brambles we picked ourselves as a family. I mean, I look at me too, and I think, is does he have this life? Does he have this beautiful idyllic life, walking with his family, picking brambles, making pies, eating them? It was so nice. I tell you, I can't believe how good a cook I am. So, so you know, I will now. I'm a bit dirty. That's just the. The kid juice from me. The kid, um, the baby's been kicking sand all over me. I mean, he's not a baby. He's nearly three. So um, let's see if uh, anyone's given to the Kickstarter since I've come on. Because, you know, obviously I'm not going to make a big deal of it. Yeah. 9,555. Where two people are given some money. So that's the me one effect. Coming here, happy man. Leave the past behind. I'm a happily married man and uh, just doing my best and doing my best to win again, make two frames in a row, make it 51 all. Then I'm going to win every other frame uh, until me too just surrenders in defeat and acknowledges I am the best. Good. Well, we've had a nice chat uh, today. Um, uh, just to say that Jay Baker's eight-year-old son is watching, so no swearing, please, which... I cannot guarantee. I will not swear because uh, I respect, and I know me one won't swear. Swear me too was not going to be speaking until later. I cannot guarantee that me too will not be using the f word, the c word, the n word. Maybe so. Um, have a little bleeper ready to bleep if you sense that a swear word is coming. I can make no promises for the other people in the show. I can only. I can only. Um, I can only talk for myself. Um, I'm taking my glasses off because I was getting ready and there's an interesting thing about it. I've been using you this is The Smiths 1986 uh, I've been using your emergency questions book to engage with my team during furlough it's been a lifesaver to keep morale up at a difficult time salute thank you very much uh, The Smiths 1986 you might want to rethink that name um, Andy McH is correct the commentator is the most uh, sweary um we may talk about two-player snooker. That's that's. I can't guarantee the commentators won't do that. Well, anyway, talking to the commentators, we're here in the Michael Lonsdale. May rest in peace. Sorry if I've broken the news to you that the Moonraker is dead. Is that what he was called, or is no? The Moonraker was a was a was it a rake? He was going to rake the moon. Is that right? He was going to rake it and plant plants on it. And James Bond stopped him. He's going to irrigate the moon, turn it into a sort of paradise. And James Bond said, "No, I'm not having any of that." It was it was a weird James Bondville for that one. That was the that was old Roger Moore. He sometimes he just he just did things for the sake of it, and he just um, then he just stopped people doing stuff because he didn't like the fact that he they were having sex with people and he wasn't. He wanted to have sex with everyone, so he stopped a bloke raking the moon. Michael Lonsdale, good guy, sadly died today. Uh, let's hand over to commentator one, commentator two in the Michael Lonsdale arena. I can't see that name changing. Here we go. Hello, Richard. I hope you can hear me at home. It's uh, commentator one here. Uh, there is the old green board, and I can notice that referee one has made one error. I don't know if people at home have spotted it. It uh, might take a little expert on the old green board to know what the problem there is. Um, very excited about this frame. I have to say, Richard, there's been some phenomenal play. Uh, frame, frame 107 was the highlight for me. A seven ball break with 22 uh, following a six ball break of 16 um, absolute phenomenal snooker last week a tighter game but still excitement all the way it'd be nice to see one of the god i'm so dead. oh that's mainly the chalk um it'd be nice to see um one of the players just stuff the other but let's see what happens you may be able to see in the background there a uh, small plastic organ not like that one um that uh, belonged to my Richard Herring's son, three-year-old son, he stood on top of it and fell off it and scraped all his back and managed to break off several of the keys. So it's now a hazard, so it's been put up here. It does still work, so we may uh, get a little tune later on. Just want to see how the old Kickstarter's uh, progressing. Yeah, no change. £9,555. We're getting close. Uh, it's me one to break. Me one. Will he manage to not go in off? Oh, he's gone in off. There's shades of hitting the pink first there, but there's no way of knowing for sure. So it's four to me too. And that's a nice start for me too. 
Having to avoid the green screen, the alley and herring green screen. Me too. Oh, that was a shame. That was a nice solid shot from me too, but me one, he's not going to, oh, I'm going to say he's not going to miss an opportunity like that. And he didn't, he potted the red, but he, he's not really on anything here. He can hit the black. That's the best he can do, I think. Yes, and he tends the cue ball right down the table. Ooh, I mean, beautifully onto the red there. So it's 1-4, I make it. Presuming that was me one, it was. So here's me two, right on the edge of the pocket, but a pretty easy red. He's missed it. Uh, so he's missed it. And uh, me one has the advantage, even though he's four one behind. Me one. Can he double this one in? Using the blue to try and break the speed. Oh, nearly does it. What a beautiful shot that was. Well, I can see what he was trying to do. It was bold. And me too. They're not playing well at the moment. Remember, his lead comes really from a mistake from me one. Me one. Oh, nice crisp hard shot, but it does not go in. Me two. He's checking out the available balls. And there he's off. He's off the mark. And has he got on the blue? Not quite. He's going to have to go for the yellow. It's a long shot over the blue. And he did not succeed. But me too moves up to is up to six. Is it six one or five one? Five one. Calculating, calculating. Me one one. Me two five. Me one has a very easy red. He can't really do much else, I don't think. Can he get this black through to the bottom? Oh, me one makes a terrible error, gets a one break, but gives away seven by going in off on the black. And that kind of mistake could cost the match. Calculating, calculating, me one, two, me two, 12, 10 points ahead. That is much better. No commentary, please, from Robot Voice. Me too. Oh, what a pot that was. It looked like he was going for a completely different ball, but that was the one that went down, so I can only presume that's what he's after. And oh, oh, what a shame. If he'd got that pink, he would have been on the next red. But the pink just veered away from the pocket. So me one has a chance to come back now. Oh, he's fucked it up. I think trying to get on a colour. Often it's best to concentrate. Well, oh, he's tripped over the green screen for the first time. Me too. Concentrate on getting the balls in. Oh, unlucky from me too. He did trip over a green screen. Me one. Oh, and he misjudged that. He was sort of snookered, but the lip of the pocket did not catch him well. And me one is making some errors today. We're almost at a higher score than we got in the whole of last week. Gaggly ding, gaggly ding. Me one, two, me two, 17. And most of me two's points have come from fouls from me one. Me too, he, can't, he surely can't get this red in. Oh no, he's pointed the blue, so, oh, and the white. Well, it's a comedy of errors this week after last week's zero errors. Calculating, calculating, me one, seven, me two, 17 again, 10 points, the difference, stop doing that. That's my job and commentator two's jobs. Me one, he's potted the red, taken the cue ball a long way from the black, which is the obvious one to go for. And he's got it, and maybe that was his tactics because that means he can bring the cue ball around the table a little bit. Uh, me one, a break of eight, and suddenly he's right back in this. Oh! And he just took a chance there, I think, and potted a red by smashing it into the pack. Can he get the black again? He can. This is shaping up to be another mammoth break from me one. He's gonna have to double this red, I think. So he's currently got a break of 16 with four balls. Can he make it 17 with five? No. Oh, but he beautifully done to the pink there. So seven, 14, 15, 16 points to me one, calculating, calculating, me one, 23, me two, 17. And that's why you can never write anyone off in this match. Me two. Uh, that's, that's was too subtle there. Me one, 
Oh, bad shot from me one. We thought I thought he would get that the form he's in. Me too. Just wax it. Me one. Oh, beautiful play. And both of them choose to go for some quite, almost trick shots, really. Oh, nearly got the blue. But me one takes another step further. It's 24 plays 17, unless I've got the wrong me there. And me two does seem to be floundering a little. Can he get this red past the black? He can, but not into the pocket. Me one. Can he get this red past the pink? Surely not. No. Me too. This red is all that's available. And me too going for a snooker. I think he's succeeded there. I think he's succeeded. That's nice. Me one should get out of it. Oh! Well, we've seen everything today. There was absolutely no real need for that, was there? Me one sends the cue ball flying off the table and me too his snooker was a success he's looking up the table and he's going for that red can he get this oh that was so jingled and jangled in the pocket like matt hancock being a dick and that is a brilliant snooker from me too it doesn't matter they didn't pop the red because now me one has essentially an impossible task He's going to try and go round the black, come off at least two cushions. Oh, and he's failed and he's hit the yellow. And me too finds himself back in the lead, 25-24. Uh, he has a free ball, he's going for the black, which will count as a red if he gets it. He did not get it. Has he got another snooker though? That was lovely. Or oh, not quite, I think me one. So, some poor play today for me too. I think he's going to try and plant three red balls into... The, oh, he nearly manages it. And he's left. Oh, I don't think me one can get this. He's going to try for it. And I was wrong, me one could get it. He can do anything, me one. He's potted a brilliant red. He's going for the blue. And that was much easier and he's missed that. I believe it's 25 all. I don't really want to go to robot voices being a dick. Me too. Long red, he's got it, nice and firm. Can he get this black? He doesn't get it, but he may, has he got a snooker? No, me too. I th well, was it, was it 25 all? Is it now 26, 25? That's right, 26, 25 to the very strong breeze. It's exciting as anything, me one. Oh! He entirely missed the red and hit the blue. He's given me two, five points completely unnecessarily. And it's a free ball. So me too is going to try and pop the blue, but it will count as a red if it goes in. Oh, he's missed it. But I think again, thinking of the snooker, he's clever. He's playing clever, me too. Me one, that is a tricky one. Can he get around this yellow? No, he can't. Me one has given another four points away. He doesn't seem to understand the size of snooker balls here. Calculating, calculating, me one, 25, me two, 35. Me two. And there may be another snooker on here. There isn't one, but he's, uh, you know, me two might just, me one might just miss this. Not this time. Oh, he's trying, has he got a snooker? That's a lovely play. There's been some beautiful snooker here. This is gonna be very tricky for me too. He's got to just miss the pink. Well, he's missed altogether. It's not been called a miss. And me one. Oh, what a plant that was. Unfortunately, me one planted the blue instead of the red. So five more points to me too. And there, I think there's certainly been more points through uh, fouls in this game than there were points from safety play in the last and from proper play in the last one. Me too. He's going for a snooker. He's just misjudged it. Me one. Oh, nearly somehow nudges that one into the bottom 
Right in pocket. Me too. Oh, and that jingled and jangled in the jaws of the pocket. Like Boris Johnson going to Italy and pretending he hadn't been there. Me one. Oh, how did he miss that? Me too. Oh, me too goes in off this terrible play today. Makes for exciting snooker though. 33 plays 40. Me one at the hockey. This is the shot that he managed to get in last time. And he's done it again. It's a little me one special. Can he get the blue this time? No. No, he can't. Me one moves up to 34. Me too. And now he's danger of going in off if he goes for this yellow. Oh, he didn't go in off and he didn't quite get the yellow. It was very close though. Me one. Just tries to whack it in, fails. Me too. What's gonna happen? Oh, he's right up against the edge here. This is hard for him. There's a bat, there's a beam right in his way. Needs a shorter stick really, but he can't do anything about that. He did well to hit that. He went in off, but that was a very, very difficult shot. Me too gives four points to me one and suddenly the tides turn. There's only two points in it again. If me one gets this yellow. It's back to even Stevens. How are we feeling, commentator two? It's fucking terrible. I mean, I thought they were playing a bit better recently, but this is just like two children who've never played snooker before. I just interrupt you there, me commentator two. Uh, me one fails to pop the yellow. I thought he's going to get it. Me two gets it. The gap between them opens up to four points. And me two just cracks the green. More out of frustration than any plan, I think. It's 42, plays 38. Me one has a fairly easy green, which he fucks up. Hit it way too hard, it's what all the commentators on YouTube are saying. Me too. He hits it too hard. Is it gonna go in off? Nearly goes in at the top, but fails. Me one could get this. Oh, he's missed and hit the black. What a disaster. Now, and this is more like the, the me versus me of old that to long running listeners will be used to. Me too. Oh, how the fuck did he miss that? Sorry for swearing when there's eight year olds watching, but fucking hell, mate. Come on. It's 38, plays 49. Me one. He's also missed it like a complete cunt, but me too. Oh, they're just hitting it hard. You have to hit it hard on this table. The camber, and that is a beautiful snooker. That must be what he was going for. You can criticize him as much as you want. Oh, me one just misses. Five more points to me too. And me, too. someone should add up how many points me too has actually scored in this frame of his own volition. It's not many. And there's another three he hasn't scored. He fails to pop the green. Me one. There we go. That's where, that's what we are after. Me one pots the green. Beautiful, hard. He pots the brown. Beautiful, hard. This could be it. This could be the comeback. His fans have wanted. He's potted the blue. Beautiful, soft. He's got a break of 12. Can he make it 18 with a double of the pink into the center pocket? No. 12 points to me one. It takes him to 50 points. Me too, I'm 54. Once again, are we heading for a black ball finish? They're so evenly matched, me too. He needs this pink, he needs to concentrate. He hasn't got it. Has he left it on? I don't think he has, but me one's gonna go for it. He misses it and what a miss, what a miss. Not only has he left the pink on, he's put the black right over the pocket, but the pink, Oh, I was going to say was all that Me Too needed, but in an amazing twist. This frame is not over yet. In an amazing twist, Me Too pots the pink but goes in off. And Me One gets six points. And Me One is now two points in the lead. If Me One pots this pink, he is now going to win this frame. He had a go, it was close, and now he's gone in off. This is extraordinary, and he's left the pink so close. 
to the pocket. Surely this is it. Calculating, calculating. Me 156. Me 260. Surely he has to get this pink. Surely. He's got it. Is he going to go in off? Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> me, me too. Parts of the pink, but in, in an incredible third time in a row. Well, except didn't go hit for the second time in a row for him. He's gone in off, and me one is now two points in the lead. Can he pop this pink? He's what? He's potted the pink and gone in off again. <laughs> he went in off first at least, and the pink going in was a complete fluke. But. <laughs> What the hell is happening? This is like a dream. We've had four in-offs in a row. Three of them whilst the pink has been potted. Me too. He's gone. <laughs> this is literally not possible. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I went in off and potted the pink. Can be one going off and pot the pink, or can he just pot the pink and win? Oh god, he missed the pink, but he got it on the rebound. The curse is broken. Me too. He's potted the pink. Oh, he hasn't gone in off. So it's a black ball finish. Can me too get this black in? That was not the way to get the black in. Where has that ended up? Oh my stars. Calculating, calculating, me 168, me 272, and me one has a chance to win this on the black. That's the one he's gonna dream about. He should have got that, me too. I don't think he can do much with this. He's just hoping he can leave it sort of safe, which, I mean, it would be an amazing shot if me one can get this. I think he'll go for it. Way off whatever he was trying to do. Me too. Oh, and he went a little bit slower. Is he gonna go in off? Oh, so close. And that would have been the end if it had been in off, but me one. I think he'll go in off if he tries to pop that. He's gonna double it. Oh, no way. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is the most incredible frame of snooker I've ever seen. Me too. Nearly misses the black altogether. Should have got that one. <sighs> Me one. He nearly goes in off. He nearly goes in off again. He fell. <laughs> Me two. He nearly goes in off. Me one. Can he clip this in? No. We've never seen anything as exciting as this in all of our days, I don't think. And supernatural, me too. Now, if he rolls it towards the pocket, there's every chance he could just leave it on for me one. Oh, I think he's got lucky. He missed me too. Me one at the, the hockey now. He doubles it. Oh, and that was so close, and it nearly goes into the top corner. Surely it's over now. Surely me too has to get this in. And me too, that ball went in the pocket and jumped out the pocket and it's jumped out the pocket in such a way. Surely, me one. Surely this is it. Well, my friends, we've seen something astonishing here today. Not the greatest play, but I think the greatest frame of snooker that has ever been played once again, every week. 75 to me one. 72 to me too. Me too once again. Misses a sitter on the black a couple of times. And now it's even Stevens. 75, 72. And just a ridiculously close frame again. And again going me one's way. <sighs> Someone's pointed out there's 147 points total score. 75, 72. It's 51 frames all. If anyone is at home telling you self-playing snooker is not the greatest sport that there has ever been, that person telling you that thing is an idiot. 
because someone's asking if it's rigged. Fuck, man, if I could rig that, I would be playing a professional snooker. <laughs> Sorry, if Richard Herring could do that, he would be playing professional snooker. Um, my stars, what, what have we seen? Back and forth, three points, three frames ahead, three frames behind, three equal. Oh, 75, 72. I'm apt. Michael Lonsdale must be kicking himself that he died today. Didn't get to see that. After all the times he's watched self-playing snooker and listened to it in the hope of something exciting happening. My stars. I'm going to have to hand back to Rich, but, uh, you know, I suppose I, as a uh, commentator, I should have something amazing to say. I haven't. Just, I'm blown away. Uh, missed black. It jumped out of the pocket. If we could replay that, I'd replay it. It was in. It jumped out. And me too. In the last two frames, he could be, it could be 49, 53 quite easily now. But it's 51, 51. Back to Richard Herring in the studio. Whew. Well, I don't know how you're feeling after. I just sat back and watched that and uh, could not believe my eyes after a week where there were no errors there would just seem to be all it just seemed every point was a mistake was it five was it six in offs on the pink in a row was it i mean if you tried to do that you couldn't do that and again me too if he got it twice suddenly two of those pinks it was as if some supernatural force was acting against him This could be your company name on here, by the way. New Balance haven't paid me for doing this. They gave me a free T-shirt when I did a corporate for them, and to be fair, they pay overpaid me, so I'm happy to give them the uh, extra publicity for free. But um, you could have your name on here if you, and you could have been the new New Balance are so excited. They've someone's like, have you seen what what's been done in your name? Yeah, have you seen? I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. Um, let's let's let the snooker do the talking and let the snookerists do the talking. Over to we've got to talk to me too first. I think he's just sitting down in the street now. Let's have a look. Yeah, Boo Nalants are going to be so fucked off for me, Rich. I can't believe everything was going to plan. I was I was winning. I was going to win. I was going to win on the pink. Went in off. I was going to win on the pink. Went in off. Did I go in off again a third time? And I was had the black, the easiest black again. And it's like my dreams. It's like my nightmares. Except I could see what was happening. I could actually visualise it because it was happening right in front of me. But now I'm thinking back, I can't visualise it. But I remember what it was. And it's like all week I've been dreaming about missing an easy black and then losing the frame. And then that ball was in the pocket, Richie. It was in there, nestling in. I was going, I, could, I was just starting to punch the air. It's my, the kids are going to be all right. In hospital, COVID will be defeated. People will stop getting COVID as a result of what I've done. I'm gutted. I don't know if I can come back from this. This could be the thing that psychologically breaks me um, beyond reason. And, uh, yeah, uh, all that can help me is if I looked at the, the snooker Kickstarter and just saw it had just gone up even a tiny bit. No. My suffering hasn't been worth 171 people now. I mean, if people aren't prepared to donate a two quid after watching something like that, I don't know. What, I don't know what to make of the world. Well, to be fair, uh, me too, um, Richard Herring. That's me. Sorry, I have uh, already done a Kickstarter this year and um, just recently. So a lot of people have already given. It's a very difficult time for people, and I would want to say. I do not want anyone who cannot afford to donate money to donate. We're coming up to very uncertain times. Do make sure you look after yourselves. If you have a little spare money and would like to help comedy clubs, please do give to that Kickstarter. If you've enjoyed this amazing, just amazing night of snooker, I don't think, I'm not sure I can carry on with doing anything after tonight because I will know that was the high point. That was the moment that it all came together. And I was could never be as good again. Everything else I do in my career will just be looking back and that going, yeah, it's not, 
Not as good as old frame 109, is it? 51, all there. Me1, I think, is just taking Me 2s place there. Let's see if we can go over to him. Ah, oh, yeah, Rich Me 2s just gone. I would congratulated him. It was a hell of a frame. Um, the best man won. I held out. I um, He fell into my trap a lot of the time. I would leave a few easy balls knowing that he would either miss them or they would jump out the pocket or um, he would go in off. I even went in off a few times myself on that pink just to make it a bit more exciting for people at home. You can see from the level of snooker I'm playing, some of those pots I did where it looked like I was trying to pot a different ball, but then the different ball went in. You can see how good I am at snooker to be able to do that. So I was in complete control all the way. I was psyching out me one, me two, sorry, I am me one. And um, consequently, I am the best at snooker because it's 51 all. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you are even at the moment. Um You've had a couple of very, very close frames. I mean, to be fair, they've all been... Since we started filming them, they've all been within 10, 15 points or certainly within the last two balls. Um, so hats off to both you guys. Look, I think you're amazing. I think the the effort you're putting into this... Um, today, the effort to look as bad as that was, was yeah, impressive. But um, look, we have to go. We've been here for... 50 minutes is a long time for a frame of snooker and um, yeah numbers are dropping down as uh, people realise they're just watching a man playing himself at snooker um, but 185 people have stayed to the end and I'm sure you'll find there was about 572 people there at some point and all we need to do is go to rahalaspa.co.uk slash kickstarter chuck in a couple of quid probably like 100 quid each might do it uh, and get us on the way 12 days to go to hit 20,000 pounds and you'll all get your silly little snooker sticker albums be all excited thank you to Andy Sandals subscribe to tier 1 for 2 months that's very kind of you um, and uh, thank you to everyone who subscribed and resubscribed tonight don't forget to do that if you wish uh, it's especially if you're with Amazon Prime it's a very helpful way to give us Free money at no cost to yourselves, which we all use to create more wonderful entertainment like this. If you sat through that and did not think that was the best thing that's ever happened to you in your life, then you are living in a dream world. You've not seen anything better than that. Right, I'm off. I'll uh, see you. Next. Thanks to Michael Lonsdale for agreeing to have the arena. I mean, he didn't. He died, but um, he would probably would have agreed. And thank you to everyone for watching. Um, do tune in on Wednesday. I don't think we'll do anything tomorrow night. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to think of another way to fill up the week. If we go back into lockdown, don't worry. I'll be just on here all the fucking time. Slowly losing my fucking mind, which is really happening to me this year. I'm genuinely losing my mind. Not through all this stuff on Twitch. Just, oh, God. Let's see if I get to 2021, shall I? Your life. <laughs> Um, I, well, look, I can't. I, I have to stay alive for for this. See what, just to see where this goes and see who wins. Right, we'll see you soon. Don't forget to pre-order the problem with men. That would be a very helpful thing to do as well. And I think you'll enjoy the book. And uh, see you on Wednesday, hopefully for Alice. I haven't got a guest. What am I talking about? Maybe not. See you guys. I love you all. I love you crazily, and you love me back. That's why you stay with me. If you're having snooker problems, I feel bad for your son. I've got 99 problems, but a snooker stick ain't one. Sorry for swearing. Goodbye.